Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. And if you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So for those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings that are completed. You can find the links in the description box below. So I've shuffled your cards and laid them out and we can begin. Now, I'm noticing from these energies that the tarot card in the overall theme position is showing to me this energy of which one individual is thinking very deeply about what is going on, why certain things are happening, and what do they mean in relation to this relationship? Right. Let's clarify this energy. first card that I'm picking up is showing to me this energy of conflict and difficulties. This feels like an energy of where there's silence after something that has shaken you to the core. Disruption that may have occurred in your life and their life and now there's silence and the two of you are thinking very carefully perhaps about what was said, what was communicated you know, the messages that were sent via email or via text. So I feel like there's the silence after certain things that were said between the two of you. Right. Now, the next card I'm looking at is showing to me that you're having a hard time with this individual. I'm picking up their energy as being very, very distant, very cold, not showing much emotion, not letting you into their world. Right. So... It feels like someone has become very, very distant. Sometimes these energies can be vice versa. So just keep that in mind, okay? Now, let's look at the next energy. This energy is showing to me a sense of loneliness, showing to me a sense of sadness. It's a choice that someone makes in a situation where they choose to be in silence it's a choice they make when they choose not to reach out because it is involving a lot of difficult emotions a lot of difficult emotions so i feel like from the energies that in the situation there could be a part of you that wants to you know, look at this more closely, but you feel too broken to do so, right? It feels like there's this distance between the two of you and there's a difficulty in reaching out. It feels like there's this energy where there's a lot of silence, right? Yeah, someone is being very cold, very distant. And this particular energy is indicating that, you know, one individual is inside of their head a lot and there's a lot of thoughts a lot of thoughts that uh, someone is struggling to make sense of. And, uh, you know, this is a point in which both you and this individual have become so distant compared to how it was in the past. The card in the past position is indicating that, you know, there was this energy, there was this buildup where the two of you were making plans for the future, making plans to have a relationship together and having your happily ever after together. But that foundation, it started to fall apart. It started to break into pieces and it became more and more difficult to deal with. So I do sense from this particular energy that things were left, you know, just in the air, just uncertain, not really providing a lot of um, foundation and substance. Because as it's going towards now, I feel like someone is fighting this, right? It feels like uh, one individual is trying to be strong, but it's very difficult to do so. It just feels like one person had, you know, a greater expectation of the other person. And this person came to the situation 
wanting to offer just as much, wanting to build everything up just as much, but with a slightly less enthusiasm. It feels muted. It feels like it, um, you know, didn't push through all the way in terms of the potential. There's a lot of frustration here. There's this energy of uh, feeling like uh, you put in a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and it feels like someone is fighting something, right? And these could be deep emotions, paranoia, fear, these kind of energies, but it's a difficult energy. It's not the type of energy where you can just easily find a solution. It could be that this individual is running away from something or running away from, you know, um, the problems that they have. But as they do so, they end up feeling even more emotional and even more plagued by thoughts that are troubling them and giving them a sense of insecurity, insecurity and inadequacy at the same time because they feel helpless and they can't solve this, right? So it feels like someone is running away. I feel like right now there's a lack of uh, communication. So when it comes to the actual process of talking to one another, you see, things are different now because it feels as if there's a lot of elements that are being hidden. There's a lot of things that are not coming to surface. There's secret thoughts, secret feelings, things that are being buried, things that are not being said, things that are not being spoken about. Perhaps, you know, the energies are not allowing for it to be. Perhaps... At this point in time, someone has closed themselves off. I'm sensing from this particular card, right, there's a desire to change things around. But there's also an inability to take action and do anything about it. There's these difficult energies that are not allowing for this to happen. There's these difficult energies that are... Causing this sort of obstructive behavior, right? So what I'm sensing from these energies is that someone is unable to do anything even though they want to. One individual has become very cold and distant. Someone has been fighting something in the past. Going towards the future, I'm seeing that there's a curiosity. So it feels as if, you know... One individual will be looking closely at the other individual, but feeling stuck, hoping to communicate, but perhaps not being able to do so, and may, in certain cases, feel a sense of regret over that. So I see uh, from this situation that there's a lot of things that have to be taken into account. There's a lot of unspoken things, things that someone doesn't have the courage to say, there's a lot of silence and in-between things. You know that sort of frustrating um, state that couples find themselves in where uh, the two of you get to a point where it's just difficult to even pick up the phone and call each other or even confront some of these issues because you don't know where this person stands. They don't know where you stand. And there's a lack of clarity and balance in moving forward, right? So I feel like at this point, there's a lot of stagnant energy here. There's a lot of issues that have to be addressed. Namely, why is this individual, you know, being so quiet and silent? Or why is there silence in the situation? Why is there a lack of initiative? What is this individual really feeling? What are they going through during this period of time? 
And why are they holding back in terms of offering you love when in fact someone does want to take the chance and move forward but not really taking the actions to do so? I'm going to be exploring all of those questions in the extended meeting. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.